What's up guys? Today we're in the shop and I'm gonna show you a cool product for getting your angles just right on your table saw, your radial arm saw, or even a chop saw over there. Um, you know, out in the field it's one thing, you can go by your angle stops on your on your saws. But when it comes down to a quality uh, woodworking project, you wanna make sure your angles are just right. And that's where something like this can come into play. This is a digital protractor by eye gauging. Pretty cool project. Uh, it actually has resolution down to the 0 0.05 degree. Uh, so you can actually get pretty precise with this thing. Pretty cool product. So you wanna make sure your 90s are just right. Um, this is a great product to have. You know, 90 degree is one thing. Everyone's got a square in their, in their arsenal, a square. Uh, Blade pretty easily with a square but when you come down to like a, a 30 degree or maybe a even a 45 degree um, can you depend on your tables thing I mean the the guide isn't even straight that's where having a precision protractor really comes into play that way you can be sure that you're getting an exact 45 degrees every single time you want to know that when you butt that angle up to the next piece of wood that it's going to match perfectly. Especially true on like an older saw like this or even a cheaper chop saw like that. You want to make sure your angles are just right, especially when you're doing compound miter cuts. And you can use the same thing over here. Uh, these angle gauges uh, are generally pretty accurate overall. But you want to you want to double check those too, and uh, they do make a bigger version here. This is a the uh, 10 inch or 12 inch version. And that allows you to get a lot closer to your saw there. Make sure your angles are just right. So we're off by 0.2 degrees there. So all we do is uh, loosen her up. And there we go, there's our 90 degrees. So that's a nice tool to have for doing your angles, especially when you get into a compound miter cut. And that's when it gets really interesting. That's when your angles need to be dead on, because you got like two or more pieces of wood meeting at two or more angles. Um, that's where things become super sketchy. You need to be sure you're doing it just right. So, we're at uh, 45.2. Now, 2.5 degrees might not seem like a lot, but just wait till you're uh, doing a window frame. You got two pieces of wood coming together at two different angles. Um, you want that to be dead on. So you're gonna go ahead and adjust this according to your protractor. Like so. Now we know we got a perfect compound miter cut there. You can do the same thing over here on your chop saw. You want to use the six inch version for this, or the four inch. You know, most of the time, if you're just doing general construction, you can rely on the, the, the 90 degree stop and the 45 degree stop of the chop saw. But there's times when you just don't want to chance it. So it looks to me like we're off by 0.2 degrees, which is just fine for two by fours, but when it comes to uh, things like trim and uh, you know, window, window glazing, you don't want to be off by 0.25 degrees. So you can make your adjustments there pretty quickly. Now let me show you one more product you can use for something like that. Let's come over here to this old ass Black & Decker radial arm saw. And this thing's, uh, I have no idea how old it is, but it's been kind of hacked together and it's uh, been in many hands. And I can't get the 
I can't actually get the uh, protractor in there to even get my angle. So something like that, uh, here we have the angle cube. You can measure in relationship to true level or in relationship to table level. So I can come over here, set my zero point, come over here to my saw, yeah, well, what do you know? Eh, slightly off. You know, this thing's gotten a, a bevel meter that's, you know, God knows how old. So we just come over here, set that to true zero, and tighten her up. Now we know that our, our table is exactly 90 degrees from our saw. We can get it to stay. <laughs> this is an old saw. I think it's at least 60 years old. Um, I don't really trust it for fine tuning. But that gives you an idea of what you can do with a uh, relationship to zero meter. So if our table is off by, and we're actually level. So you could do the same thing here if you wanted to check your 45 degrees. And that one barely go to 45 degrees. So at the end of the angle, we'll stop there. <laughs> it's not even at 45 degrees. So I'll attribute that to it being an old saw, but you get the idea. It's gonna be a lot easier on a new saw. Come over here, stick it to your saw blade. And we're showing off by about a degree there, 0.105, so we're gonna zero it. Now we'll loosen up our angle stop. And then we'll come over here to its angle stop. So that's actually pretty close. Relationship from its zero point to uh, zero point to its 45 degree, it's uh, within 0.1 degrees. So not bad for a cheap ass uh, chop saw there. But if you wanted to get that just right, just uh, play with it a little bit. Like so. This table is kind of wobbly, so it's moving around a little bit, but you get the idea. So the eye gauging angle cube, you can use it to measure a true level. So that's the zero we zeroed out from our original table. Let's see what it's actually at. We're actually at one degree. So this this table that I've got it on is actually off by one degree. So you got your eye gauging angle cube. You can measure true level or level in relationship to a flat plane or a, a given angled surface. And then you got your uh, digital protractors. A couple great products for the shop.